got the first one, the big coil, and this one right here was me trying to remake my uh, DRSSTC5 that ran off of secondary feedback, and it used this coil, and uh, this pancake primary, and a uh, 33 nanofarad primary tank cap. That worked pretty awesome for the size ratio and the sparks are probably had the best results and it ran reliably all the way up until it would ground strike some type of ground strike was where half the fun is at so uh, I decided to tear it down and try to redo it as a uh, primary feedback as a, or DRSSTC so I basically just remade the bridge and put it on a board and um, that's about it and this driver is basically the same thing as this driver but just on uh, one board so you can see how that's laid out we got single core 32 to 1 feedback and then the uh, the two stage of the same type of winding on the CT so same setup so this time I've got OCD on it hoping that I could get the same output but be able to limit the uh, peak current. This actually runs more reliably whereas the output looks more like a DR SSTC. The other one would get kind of wonky and I think I figured out what it was um, to a degree to where I didn't have my enable pins tied high or low any more than the internal pull up resistor. So I think uh, what would happen is at times my interrupter connection depending on certain variables um, it would want to stay on in a continuous wave for way longer than the interrupter was telling it to and it would only cease at the next interrupter pulse um, so there would be points where the arcs would propagate out and then suddenly mid burst length they, the on time would increase and what would happen there is I would get these much longer more ferocious arcs that would branch out from time to time and the cleaner I made my build, the less I would see that occurrence until I finally got to, you know, this type of build where it just didn't do that anymore. Now the only thing that happens is slight interference uh, causes this unshielded interrupter to uh, wig out a little bit. It doesn't do it all the time, just depending on how I got the cord, <coughs> things like that. But uh, again, basic Steve Ward DR SSTC1. See, I tried a pancake setup originally and I just left it on there and I might use that in the future with a uh, different coil but see I just went to the regular helical type winding and that's what I've got I still have a lot of tuning to do on this one just like this one see while I should have shielded the driver I'm not done with it yet I don't think uh, I definitely had to shield the fan I had one of these little guys on there before with no shielding and they seem to die real quick These cheap Chinese deals this was a more expensive one I had, so just <laughs> wrap some uh, wire mesh around it that seemed to uh, do the job. But I'll put it at uh, 50 on the variac. I can't see it at my little knob. So 50 on the variac doubled. Cut this on. interference see I've just got it way out in the open 
cord coming down, a little interrupter over here. So that's giving me problems. CD set real low it's not actually tripping it but it will if I cut it down anymore uh -huh. 